ask you to be upstanding for the arrival of the bridal party. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. May it remind us of this moment. May it remind us of this moment. And the commitment I have made to you. And the commitment I have made to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. May it remind us of this moment. May it remind us of this moment. And the commitment I have made to you. And the commitment I have made to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, we wish uh, Gavin and Emma a very long and happy life together. Yeah, yeah. So, would you please be upstanding for the bride and groom? Mr. Mrs. Young. Mr. Mrs. Young. Thank you. had a great night, uh, I was feeling a little bit worse for worse, I thought, oh, excuse myself, I'm going to go to the toilet, so I'll be two minutes, so I went to the toilet, uh, come back, um, looked and I thought, oh, where, where's Emma gone? I was looking around thinking, oh, I blew it, I, what, what, am I, what am I doing wrong? And then I realised, I thought, well, it is me, so it could be any one of, like, a lot of things that I've done wrong. <laughs> so I like, looked around and I thought, oh, I thought, well, the bus wasn't come for another half an hour, so I thought I'll sit myself down and I'll finish my drink and then I'll go. So I sat myself down, had finished this drink, and then after about 10 15 minutes, I thought I'd best go and get the bus. Walked off through Tiger Tiger, and then I heard, Gav, Gav, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you? And I looked round, and then I realised Emma was sat in exactly the same place she'd been sat all night, <laughs> and I went and sat in another booth. <laughs> Wait, wait, think of what's going on. Um, God knows who's drinking. <laughs> like everybody else in the bar was thinking. So I went and sat with Emma. And I thought, you know, it's one of the qualities I love about the most. 
um, she'll literally she puts up with me, she <laughs> loves me no matter what, totally accepts all my little quirks, and never really judges us. Um, it's basically today has made me like the happiest man alive. I'm sharing like, a fantastic day uh, with the love of my life and my best friend. Um, I just want to add for the camera that is Emma and not Stephen, by the way. <laughs> Close, you know. <laughs> Gavin and myself have been out at the pub on a Saturday night a few years ago. Well known to us, a policeman had been attacked at a different pub nearby. The police had a description of the attacker, she just happened to match that at Galvin. <laughs> Subsequently, there were swarms of police pounding the streets looking for a 5 foot 2 middle aged charmer. <laughs> we had just stood up on the way home when Gav suddenly was cornered by numerous policemen. With the helicopter above them, he was subject to the usual questioning. Where had he been? What had he been doing? Why was he wearing his Christmas shirt? <laughs> he was told he was going to be taken down the station for further questioning. Knowing that Emma was at home and would be worried about him, he asked if he could make a quick phone call. The police were astonished to watch him phone Eddie Wong, aka <laughs> the notorious Fast Eddie of the Jade Lake Takeaway, to tell him he was going to be late picking up a special fire. <laughs> Fortunately for Gav, the message then came through that the real attacker had been apprehended. <laughs> However, the police were still suspicious of this dubious character with strange oriental contacts. <laughs> and he was asked to provide some ID. Gav only had his driving license on him, which he realised still had his old address on. The police proceeded to follow him home, which resulted in Gav hiding in the garden of his mum and dad's house. <laughs> <laughs> he still lived there. 